Oh yeah. I have no idea why this became a thing. Probably because it's meathead thick boy season. I love it. I've not eaten gummy bears in like, it's been a while. Yeah. Just because I was on my functional health kick and once this bro split thing got in my head, I'm like, gummy bears in the pre-workout again. I love it. But everybody, two time Miss Fitness Olympia, Missy Truscott What's here that? in town this week. Thanks we will be, oh, I'm pumped. You're, you look a little different. You're three and a half weeks out now. Yeah. Three and a half weeks out from number three working for it yep uh we're gonna have this will be a lot of fun filming this but i have so many questions just because i've been out of it for so long and you're in the thick of it right now i can't actually believe that you travel here yeah well thank you for the direct flight you guys always hook it up <laughs> accent sledge is fucking awesome <laughs> you're not not having a direct flight <laughs> it's you live in seattle seattle so yeah. it is all the way here yes direct yep. flight for so sure. uh five hour <laughs> flight coming here but you know i traveled really well and you guys hook it up with the food and everything so it's really awesome to like come here and just be taken care of um but yeah i'm uh you know, three weeks out from Olympia, yeah. and we're gonna do a back Because we did, we trained shoulders together, and you were, how much did you weigh then? Oh, fuck, I was like 150. Yeah. How, what, is, what is your contest weight? So, I'm a lot lighter now. Like, no shit, huh? this morning, I was 127 when I weighed myself. So, stage weight, I'm probably gonna lose, I wanna lose like another three to five pounds. Okay. Just to get Okay, so you're, 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 you're like, you're in there then. Yeah. Like there's not much more that, I mean, it doesn't look like you have much more to lose. Yeah. But like you're, you're right there. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll like, you know, when we do the water manipulation and everything, I'll, I'll lose a little bit more there. So mm. I, I can't wait for it. I was asking Missy earlier, where's your calories at right now? And, <laughs> and would you say like around 1200 on some days? Yeah. And yeah, then drop down there. a little lower than that? Mm -hmm. Aiden, how would you handle that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. How would you feel about a 922 calorie day? <laughs> Death. <laughs> she's like, she's like, I got three ounces of rice. I'm like, mm. yeah. Tasty. So like a couple of pretzels, huh? <laughs> but no, we are going to train back. I'm excited. This is going to be a good time. Um, I'm excited because a lot of people that follow me, they 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 love the last video that we did. So I'm excited for them to see you like in primo condition and give everybody a show with uh, with just how you look and what you've been working for. Yeah, bring out the veins. I'm fucking pumped. <laughs> you know, it makes my life a lot easier because um, there's no like temptation at home because he's so on it, you know? What's the worst thing he eats right now then? Oh man, um, he's actually not straying from his like diet because he's so on it. Like I have refeeds sometimes, uh -huh. like every whatever, 15 days or some shit. Mm. Um, and <laughs> you know. Did everybody hear that? <laughs> A refeed every 15 days, not every six or seven days, No, 15. no, no, no. Yeah, we gotta. <laughs> no, 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 no. We I don't gotta get, we gotta get peeled here. Um, Man. It's, uh, I'll do like carrot cake, Outback steak, mm. you know. That is the meathead uh, restaurant go-to. Yeah. And you said you just cut out demo day. Yeah, I just cut out demo day and I'm just using the grind now. Um, the EAAs for, you know, muscle breakdown, yeah. hydration, everything. Um, just cause we wanna get ridiculously peeled. So that little bit of carbs in demo day. You were having demo day up until like four and a half weeks out. Yeah, yep. If it were, my call, I wouldn't pull it, but you know, I'm listening to my no, coach you gotta and the coach. Uh, yeah. You gotta have faith and you gotta trust the coach. That's, yep. that's one thing that most people don't understand is whenever you are a competitor, you have to have a relationship with your, with your coach totally. to be coachable. Mm -hmm. You have to be coachable, have to be coachable. And then the coach also, like you being who you are and your, and your experience with everything, you have to be able to be like, hey, like I don't know how I feel about this or I don't know how I feel about that. And then just work together. Yeah. Got to have a relationship. Totally. Yeah. Three weeks out, cut the demo day. It's, it's fine, but. Yeah. You know? In it.
Good. Good. Tight, come on. You're separated, like you're, 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 well, you see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how old are you? 34. Okay, that's a question everybody's gonna ask. Yeah. Now, the separated thing, like, because whenever, as you mature, like, I believe that you obviously hold less intermuscular fat. Mm -hmm. Do you think, were you this separated whenever you were younger? No. No, you became more separated as the years went by? Definitely. That mature muscle's a thing. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm a I'm a 100. percent I'm like I believe I'm like a like a fucking living anomaly of it. Yeah. You know what I mean, or a living fact of it. But hearing it from another person, I think it's true. Like as you get older, your skin begins to thin. You your muscles separate more. Yeah. Hold less fat, intermuscular fat throughout the off season, things like that. Yeah, that's true. Like I think my extremities are lean. They stay leaner as the years have went by in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like harder to build the muscle uh -huh. than to keep it. You know what I'm saying? Like now it's just kind of like maintaining. It's there. Uh, yeah. And then obviously you push in like the off season and stuff, but. But it's not like you're adding massive amounts of tissue in the off season. Right. Like that tissue is made up of a percentage of fat. Whereas now like, cause even when you were here last time and you said you were like 150 pounds, you were still in stupid shape. Yeah. And now it's like, Bubbly. welcome to the fucking show here. What does it that, that have never done like this? Like, dude, you're fucking 850, 1200 pounds, that type of shit. What, how could you describe the feeling? Cause most people don't get to this point where it's like, are you starving? Are you hungry as a motherfucker all the time? So honestly, yes. Like yeah. I'm starving, yeah, yeah starving, uh -huh. but the purpose of like Olympia and winning means so much more than just being hungry. Like I know my body's gonna be okay. I've been here before. I know what this feels like. And I actually, like if you didn't like the feeling, why would you keep being a bodybuilder and like pursuing this? So yeah, I fucking love the feeling. Like I want, I wanna feel like this. If I didn't feel like this three weeks out, then we'd have a problem. You'd start questioning it. Yeah. To get to this point, it's very difficult because like right now people are like, dude, look at you. You're ready for a show this week. And you're like, yeah, I got three weeks, motherfuckers. Right. And you're like, what's going to happen in the next three weeks? And you're like three more pounds. And they're like, but like that could happen in a day. You're like, no, 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 no. It's a drawn out process where you just continually hone in everything. Yeah. It's like the etching becomes, and that's what it's like being at, not only being a professional, but being the best professional in your class right now, holding that standard, it is gonna be nuts. Yeah. Yeah, because not many people do this or get to this point, so it's like, what does it feel like? What's it like? Like, because, dude, at nighttime, me right now, if I get hungry, I'm like, I'm gonna go have a peanut butter and jelly rice cake. Yeah. You don't do that shit. No, hell no. Mm -hmm. What really motivates me is like having the support from my husband, from you guys at Axe and Sledge. Like, there's a lot of people like backing me right now. And it's like more than ever, you know? So I'm just like super motivated to be the best version of myself and fucking stick into the diet, stick into training, whether I travel or not, you know, we all have like obligations. So when we were having our, I mean, thank you. Yes. When we were having our meeting earlier, I was like, Hey, 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 everyone right now in this room needs to understand three and a half weeks out. Y'all need to understand three and a half weeks out. I was like, does she have food? And John's like, yes. And I'm like, no, 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 John. I was like, does she have the food she wants? Not like, does she have, does she need chicken cooked on my grill? Does she need to come over? Do I need to cook chicken this? Yeah. And he's like, she's going to stay with Heather. And I'm like, 
oh, we're gold then. We're good. She's got a house. She's there. Because at this point, like, everything matters. Yeah. Well, you, Seth, when you came into the gym uh, this morning when we were doing the photo shoots, you were like, are you okay? Like, do you need the heat on? Are you too cold? I'm like, no, no, I'm good. Because, like, when you're super low body fat, you're, you freeze. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's, but, yes, have to. It, it matters. Those things, it all matters because... Like at this point, like you're not, you're not just trying to win a show. You're not just trying to be a bodybuilder. You're trying, you are the best in the world in your class. Yeah. That fucking means something. That ain't easy to do. To be a professional is tough to do, but to be the best, yeah. that's some intense fucking shit. You have a mindset that not many people possess in this world. Nice and light. Nice and light. Okay. Good. Ooh. Ooh. I like that, uh, like mega stretch you do. I just started doing that. Yeah? And that's that. I, I, so, I don't know if it's from like the functional training. Like I become much more mobile. He was talking about it the other day too and how mobile he is. Yeah. It's just like my, my, my cardiovascular is so high and that's kind of what I want to mix in with my training, like doing the bro split and training is, is like, I'm in really good shape. So can I use it to my advantage and still build some muscle and have a different look than I have right now? Mm. I think so. Yeah. But like the mobility stuff, I want to keep it going. Big stretch, big squeeze. And even as I put on a little bit of size, I still want to keep that the, the flexibility and mobility. Right. Yeah. Come on. Good. Good. Get it. All you. Come on. Good squeeze. Good. 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 been doing a lot of like vacuum stuff so like <laughs> have you ever measured your waist no but I feel like the control I have now of my midsection it's like a really cool feeling better than previously yeah you attest it to the vacuums yeah big time you do vacuums too right? oh yeah yeah it was a big part of, it was just a big part of stuff, because I'm, dude, I just have a wide waist. Yeah. Like, Cutler has a very wide waist, uh -huh. and he always talked about when he did abs, he would always do leg raise stuff, never anything heavy weighted, because right. he didn't want it to get any wider. He always, like, no matter, that dude was 310, 15 pounds in the off season, still with, like, a flat stomach. Yeah. He never got the rounded belly. Mm -hmm. It was always flat, and ever since then, like, him saying it back in the early, mid-2000s, I took that as like, oh, that's what you're supposed to do. So, yeah. and then uh, whenever I'm like, man, I got a wide waist. I'm not, I'm like SpongeBob-esque right here. So I was like, in order to do so, you have to create the illusion. So even whenever like quarter turns, it's like, how can I control my abdomen? And then just being able to do a vacuum from the front and twist a little bit gives it the illusion it's a little smaller than it is. Yeah, so when you hit your front double, uh -huh. you vacuum it, right? Oh yeah. 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 
and seeing you like this, I'm like looking at myself, I'm like, yeah, you little thick. <laughs> I like it. Like, I like it. That was my whole, I'm like thick yeah. boy season all the right now. I'm like, I want to put on some size. And I'm like, man, like, yeah. it is people that are lean. Like, whenever you get around somebody that's prepping for a show, it is a different level of lean. Yeah. It is. Like, because this, to sustain this is impossible. Right. But it's like when you see somebody that's like, you know, they're just naturally, not naturally, but they're always just around that six to eight, nine percent body fat. Like, man, you're in shape. And then you see you and you're like, you'll make that motherfucker look like you're a little chubby. <laughs> it's a good time. I love it. <laughs> you wanted to like see what was working and I started doing that shit too and I'm like I don't care what I look like as long as I feel it and you know because it's bodybuilding yeah it's it's if you can remove all of the weightlifting stigmas of perfect form uh, full range of motion and all this it's like we're bodybuilders mm -hmm. we're literally sculpting our physiques and it's like we have to be able to push out the noise of all the other outside bullshit and be like I'm trying to mold my physique. So if I'm doing something that's a little bit different yeah. or adding a little bit of flair to it, or rather than be perfect, I'm like, mm, I'm able to get a better squeeze. I'm able to get a better look. Yep. I'm able to feel it. Like that's how bodybuilding has evolved into so many cool, wonderful physiques and different training styles and methodologies have come about. Totally. It's come about from us meatheads being like, yeah, look at me. <laughs> like just taking the time and enjoying yourself in the gym. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I love training. Yeah. It's my favorite thing to do. Same. I don't know what I'd be if I wasn't a bodybuilder, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I've been out of competing for a while and I'm still questioning what the fuck I'm doing. No shit. <laughs> Show. 
So Will you do when I get home from Pittsburgh, uh -huh. we're gonna do like a mock uh, show day. So I'll like carve up, um, do water manipulation. Really? Yeah, and um, I basically do like a prejudge in the morning because I do the what you guys just saw the quarter turns. Yeah. Um, and then I'll do my fitness routine at night. So Matt will watch me, and then I send it to Shelby. So it's literally like a mock show. Who oh, sheds? So you guys will run it. Yeah. So for yours, um, a lot of people. They do like shittier foods. Yeah. Do you eat any shitty foods during your carb up process? So. Well, you literally. Well, it, you said mock. Yeah. You mean like yeah. identical to what you want to do on show day? Yeah. So like I've been doing uh, like calculated refeeds right now. So I either do like a box of craft dinner, carrot cake, steak. A so box I, of what dinner? Uh, craft dinner, mac and cheese. Get the fuck out Canadian. of here. Canadian. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, craft. What is it? Mac and cheese. Yeah, it's in mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's made by Kraft. Yeah, Kraft mac and <laughs> yeah, cheese. Yeah. yeah. No shit. Yeah. So I'll eat the whole box of that, which is like 100 grams of carbs. Get the fuck out of here. That's it. Yeah. And then, that's uh, that'll. Have, you are the first person I've ever heard do that. Really? This is awesome. Just to see what digests the best. Yeah. In my yeah. That's why I asked the digest because yeah. you have a flat stomach and like. Yeah. Not only is how you look important, but also performance. Totally. Like you have to do a routine. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why we do like the water manipulation, um, making sure that salt is like totally calculated all the way up because once you start like, uh, yeah. you know, the, the water manipulation, when you're drinking a lot, you're expelling a lot. So you have to make sure like all your- It's like, yeah, you gotta remind your body that you're getting water, getting water, getting water, then remove it and it's still, it's still pissing out water yeah. and getting rid of it. And then you're like, good. Now we stop and then you manipulate sodium along with it and carbohydrates instead of the water. Yeah, but other than like uh, the Kraft dinner or carrot cake, I'm pretty clean. Like jasmine rice, I do what sits. So best. those are the two things that you add in there that has that, the extra oomph. Yeah. So How long have you been doing you know, mac and cheese? Just this year. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, kind of like a Canadian thing. I just missed it and I'm like, it's carbs and cheese like, everybody has something that comes into their yeah. life that just creeps them creeps don't, up don't you like miss the pb and j's or something that oh was kind of your thing. honey will fucking kill me oh let's say i would say somehow seth comes back into it yeah that motherfucker will eliminate peanut butter and jellies day one of oh. my guy <laughs> i eat i eat a peanut butter and jelly rice cake every single night mm -hmm. of my life that's awesome just because it's the one thing that i love more than anything in the world i'm like yeah. peanut butter and jellies he will be like hey dickhead <laughs> No more. Yeah. No more. First yeah. thing to go. Oh, we will be like immediately cut it out. You weren't having one for a year, motherfucker. You That's ain't eating so them. Funny. Oh yeah. And what about protein sources? Um, so protein, I stick with like chicken, the chicken pound. They're one of my sponsors. Yeah, so yeah. It's Carlos. super easy. Yeah. He's fucking awesome. awesome. He is. He's a good dude. Use code Missy for anything with the chicken chicken pound. Is that yeah, it? Your yeah. code? Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, Missy ten. Missy ten. Yeah. They, the 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 chicken meatballs. Yes. They're delicious. They're so good. Easy. They're like the easiest thing from meal prep because you just throw them in with rice and sauce or rice and teriyaki, uh, fucking pasta and sauce. Yep. It's easy. Air fry them. Whatever. Yeah. Mm. Um, I, I do well with red meat and eggs too, but um, as I go into the show, like we lower protein. Really? Yeah, because you know, like you don't need to keep maintaining the muscle, right? It just sits in your digestion. So. So you, how many how many ounces of meat do you have in a meal right now? Four. Four. Four ounces. Four. So we'll lower it to like around two to three. So it gets really. Hmm. Uh, How's that sound, Aiden? <laughs> I do eight, so. <laughs> oh damn. So is it? It's two ounces cooked. Yes. So like. It's small, yeah, it's small. She's Me small. Guy. <laughs> but it's only for like the happen. week, right? Like the week before yeah, the show. Yeah, so. the thing is too, it's not like that's your life forever. It's yeah. just, this is, people are replacing the word, the phrase prep, the word prep with cut and vice versa. Mm. They do not interchange. I think that whenever someone says they're doing a prep, I'm like, your life is going to suck. If someone's doing a cut, you're just on a program like to lose some weight. Right. Like a cut, if you're doing a prep, it's a prep. That means that like those last weeks leading into the show are going to be death defying. Yeah. You are going to be in something. You are going to have to be able to go somewhere mentally that not many people like to go because you are in a sense going to begin to starve yourself. Mm -hmm. You're like, whenever you're hungry, you don't get to go eat something. You're like, 
That mouth pleasure, yeah. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my plain water. Yeah, a cup of water. Yeah, <laughs> hide a bad day, you get to have more water, motherfucker. Right. Oh, can I do some squirty stuff? Nope, you're two yeah. weeks out, dude. You don't get no more squirty stuff. It's like... Yeah, <sighs> it's real. And then, in, and meanwhile, when a cut, you're just trying to do a new program because like a lot of the young kids do a cut and it's not, the word is not interchangeable, mm -hmm. in my opinion. All right, so that was the back training. Missy, thank you very much for coming in. This was awesome. Give everybody a show. Thank you, Seth, for having me. Three weeks out. Yes. Um, tell everybody how they can follow you on Instagram and where you're at. Yeah, so you guys can follow me on Instagram, IFBB, Missy Trescott, uh, Missy Trescott on YouTube. I upload uh, weekly videos prepping into Olympia. And uh, my code, Accent Sledge, is Missy, so make sure you use that as well. Missy10 at uh, the, the Chicken, chicken Pound. Pound. That's Good correct. stuff. Yep. But this was awesome. I'm uh, like watching you, just seeing you in person. Like, I love this shit so much. Oh. I was in the, um, I've been saying thick boy season for a while. Now I'm like, fuck me. Go change. <laughs> no, uh, but this is awesome. We are excited to support you going into Olympia. I'm pumped. Uh, it's going to be it's really cool. I'm really thank excited. Th thank you for pushing me on this back day. I needed it, you know, 25 days out. So it's, uh, we're getting down to uh, just that depletion, really mentally fatigue. So I the, really appreciate you, Seth. The ugly world. Yeah. I love it. God thank you. Me. Everybody, make sure you go follow Missy and 25 days out from the O.